Hey guys, welcome to first episode of React Daily. But just a heads up, um, I actually split this daily video into two because um, this tutorial is pretty simple for the people who have done a project or two, right? Like you know how to do API calls, you know how to mess with the database backend, uh, send data back from the backend, use fetch, use axios, whatever. Um, so the first video just, you know, simply doing a loading screen. Uh, I didn't even use a sync or asynchronous, you know, calls, whatever. Um, but the second part uh, is targeted more for the beginners who never did APIs, don't know how to call stuff. Uh, and then I, you know, I didn't go in depth and just covered the basis of how, you know, the front end and back end integration works and how the back end communicates with the database, whatever. Uh, so pick your video based on your um, experience. So thank you a lot. I hope you guys will enjoy the video. Welcome to episode one of the React Daily. So in this series, I hope to create, you know, um, perhaps tutorials every day or like small components um, and, and, and just post some light information that might help you in a lot of ways uh, every day. So in this first one, I'm going to tackle a problem that, you know, a lot of people will face in their, when they're making a website, and I'm just going to go over a little component of how to do that. And this thing is how to load data. Um, and more importantly, how to show the loading, uh, how to show like a loading screen when the data is being loaded and when, when we're trying to fetch it from the back end of, when we're trying to fetch it from the database. Uh, first of all, let me write a little, little notepad version of what we're going to do. So simple, right? We need, just, just thinking about it, you somewhat need a state that determines whether your data is loading or not. And when we're loading, when we're loading, we show a loading circle, right? That is absolutely positioned in the middle of the screen perhaps and if we're not loading so i'm actually just going to write this in the in a in a if then if else syntax uh, else we're going to show um the actual data um yep yeah. but the question becomes how do we determine whether the state is loading or not now I think of a simple solution that is when we load the components, it is by default loading. It is default when it's uh, when the component you know mounts, or actually by default the state is the state of loading is false. And then when we uh, get back the data, when we somehow test that the data is retrieved is retrieved, then we just you know set the state uh, loading to false. And then we can uh, render the actual data. So to do this, I'm going to be using the website that I recently published. I'm going to go back to it, uh, and then you know mess with the mess with the mess with it. Um, first of all, let's I guess to hmm yeah I guess first of all let's know how to call for data right, and then. The API that I'm going to be calling with. Uh, so if you're really if you're really a beginner, there this is a HTTP request to my uh, to my backend, and then we're going to get these data from. So this thing, this router .get thing, returns retrieves data from my database. And what is this thing? Well, we call to this location to be able to do whatever this here. So you can almost think of this as a function name. And then in the front end, this is the back end. This is the API, this is the back end. In the front end, we're gonna do basically uh, get, get all roadmaps, and then we're just gonna be able to return these. It's gonna come into more sense if we get, in, get to it. Uh, so let me, maybe I just delete this whole thing. Hmm, actually. Uh, by the way, this is what the thing looks like right now. It's gonna be, you see, this, this is the loading thing. And then, you know, uh, it loads, and then actually, interestingly, every single one of the image will load. Then uh, the image loads, and then uh, completes, uh, then it shows the image. 
Uh, we're not gonna be that complex. We're not gonna do something that complex because it's truly specific. But let me think about where to place this loading thing in. Mm. Let me just probably rewrite the featured code. Uh, where is the featured screen? So I'm sorry, it, it might be hard to follow along. Um, uh, but you know, maybe just take it in, right? I'm gonna copy and paste it just so that I don't forget. Uh, let me see. I don't need, let me delete all of this, delete all of this. Delete this, delete this, delete this, delete all of this. And return just placeholder. And let's see what the app looks like right now. Um, again, how, okay, so I said earlier that we're going to set the state to, uh, false, default. Um, I'm actually, wait, I'm actually not sure why I never typed the constructor thing. I actually never did. Uh, super props. This dot state equals to, is it this dot state? I actually almost forgot. Yes, yeah, this dot state and then loading equals to false. Then we can say... Uh, here's how we do. I, I, I like to do in inline if else's. So here's how we do uh, do the if loading render this if not do this. So we're gonna do this dot state dot loading. If this is true, do this part. Else do this part. Um, and then close it off with a bracket which you have already. So if it is loading, then we're gonna show uh, loaded components. Else, we're going to be showing loading. Uh, maybe I do need to close this off. Let me just do a a tag, whatever. Okay, so it should be showing loading, right? Um, then just to play around, we can connect to the React Dev tool. Uh, go featured and then turn on the state toggle on and off the state of loading and you see when it's load uh, when it loaded it's supposed to show this so okay so now the question is how the hell do we get the data and after we get the data we're going to set the loading to true i mean oh no no i think okay I, I did this wrong what am i doing uh here if it's the loading is true at the beginning, but I should say, maybe I should say load did, even though it's counterintuitive, but I don't want to change the whole thing. Perhaps you caught that problem. Uh, but here's how we do an API call from the front end to back. We use fetch. Or actually, whatever of your choice. I used to use Axios, but I had some bugs. And let me just actually look at uh, what I, because I kind of forgot. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is slash API slash roadmap slash gets all roadmaps uh, method gets and I believe that's it and since this is a promise based syntax I believe that's it right so then res which is the response from the API we're just going to alert the res oh geez. Uh, let me see res uh what we're gonna do after the res is to something that I just have to do with this is to do uh, res.json then actually the res.json would return a promise base to uh, result alert result um don't worry about this you know i'm actually kind of conflicted now because uh to do this you kind of have to know a lot of apis but Uh, I know a lot about APIs, but anyways, let's just, um, yeah, so actually that right there, you, you, if you saw that, we were actually just able to return all of the um, results, right, because we actually alerted. Um, I'll explain more of the details in a second for those who want to know more about how this whole front end back end integration works, but um, 
uh, we, we were able to alert the results, right? We saw that object, object, object. If I can reload this again, um, we can see three, two, one. It's going to take a longer, take longer than that. Uh, but then we can just do this dot system. Yeah. Loading loaded equals to true. Object, 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 object. Right. Um, Okay, so if I save again and let it run for a while, after it alerts, it's supposed to turn into a loaded component if, after I press OK. Okay, so it didn't turn into a loaded component. What the hell is going on? Um, ah, okay. It was indefined, so it went with uh, this. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So that's actually it, technically. Um, but I want to make this a little bit longer. Let me see how long I've been at this. Been at this for 10 minutes. Actually, it's pretty long already. Uh, but that's actually all how you... What you need to know. Um, I guess I'm going to go into more depth uh, now for the more beginner. Now, instead of loading, right? Instead of loading. Oh, actually, I didn't fully talk about this. Uh, let's make this, I guess, a little bit better. Mm, I use this thing called the Semantic UI React for my front-end UI package, and one of the things I could do is to use an icon, and I believe the name is Circle Nosh. Uh, and then there's this property that you can set it to so that it looks like it's uh, loading. Mm. Spin the okay. So now I actually have something loaded, right? Uh, I'm not going to take time to place it in the middle because you know how to do that. And after it finishes loading, loaded components. Yeah, so by the way, this is object, 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 object. We are actually now going to display the things returned um, by doing this. Return, let's just say data. At the beginning, it is just an empty array, right? And then now we're going to set the empty array to uh, the result. Okay, why the hell did I put brackets around? Uh, to the result, and then now we can actually display the result. And notice that, I, I believe this is an array. So what we can do is we can, if we want to map the individual property of an element, we can do this dot state dot data dot map each data and then return it to be div. Um, then, so at this point, each data refers to each object. Now you don't know what exists inside of this object, but only I do. So I'm gonna take advantage. I mean, I take advantage. Uh, I'm just gonna tell you that there's a property called um, title for each of those objects inside. Um, so now we should be able to render the title. So after it retrieves, it takes a while because, um, yeah, so these are actually every single one of the titles of the roadmap objects I have in my database. So now let me, for the beginners, let me talk about how you integrate this front end and back end and database. Uh, 